We're a month and a half into the year and we are already having one of our most controversial shoes in the past 10 years. This release right here is insane. I'm so excited to bring you guys an official look at the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1. So let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what they are talking about. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video. And make sure you hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. Every single year, there is one Air Jordan 1 that is just like insanely hyped. Everybody goes crazy over it and it becomes the sneaker of the year and all these other things. And I think this one right here just might be that shoe because I'm telling you right now, the past two weeks have been insane. There have been so many controversial things around this shoe. It's just just crazy bro but either way I just got these shoes in hand and I wanted to make sure I got this video up as soon as possible so that way you can make sure you see what an authentic pair looks like I'm gonna take good images for you throughout the video so that way you can see so when the release comes you know what to look for because I'm telling you right now there is a lot of crazy stuff going on starting with the box you have your classic OG style Air Jordan 1 box with a major twist you got a navy blue top with the stars all around the side faded from the baby blue to the navy in the back and I'm telling you right now this box alone is just dope looking at the size tag which a lot of people have been having questions about so make sure you take a good shot of this one right here you have air jordan 1 retro high og sp white black varsity red sale retail 170 bucks lifting open the top of the box right here as you can see you have your air jordan branding with the basketball the trophy room and the wings logo right here all the little hits and details to this shoe definitely make it worth it next up we have a ticket right here which is supposed to resemble a ticket to the all-star game back in 1985 when michael jordan was a rookie he came to the nba and was making a stance he came on the scene with a brand new pair of shoes he was balling out on the court everybody was trying to figure out who this man was and a lot of the veterans had some frustration about that and that caused them to kind of blackball him from the league his first year also known as the freeze out which they have the rumor has it thing we'll get into that in a little bit on the details of the sneaker but essentially all the MVPs and all the other guys in the league they didn't want to see him shine so they made sure they didn't pass him the ball throughout the game and then next thing you know after the all-star game was over he went and played against the Pistons which was very ironic because we know the whole story behind that later down the line in his career but he balled out against them in that game and it's just so cool to see the story and the heritage from his rookie game coming to the Chicago ones the colorway and everything like that so I feel like definitely the storytelling aspect to this sneaker is going to be super dope so let's go Go ahead and peel this paper back and see what this shoe is talking about. First you have your set of white paper and then you have a little kind of a salish off-white paper here for the second set of paper and then we got the shoe. Oh we got the shoe. And before we get started with the review one shoe that I will be referencing is the Chicago Air Jordan 1 which is where everything was inspired from originally so we had to make sure we brought this shoe into the play for this review. First impressions of this sneaker. They're not that bad. They're not that good, but I would say they are better than they are bad. If that makes any sense, I don't know. What? I'll try to explain it at the end of the video. I'll show you what everybody else result says as well. I know that was kind of confusing, but let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole, translucent, real milky vibes right here, resembling the all-star uniforms from back in the day when Michael Jordan played. I think that's a dope little touch on the sneaker. Working our way up to the midsole, you have a sail midsole with a sail stitch as well classic air jordan 1 midsole and we've been seeing sale on a lot of jordan ones recently over the past couple years so i definitely understand where they're going with that one going to the upper i want to show you guys some in hand looks of this right here just because it has a very different look when you're looking at this shoe in person especially in different lighting as well there's definitely a lot of different shades as you look at this shoe i was looking at these in the other room with different type of lighting and it definitely looked just a lot more vibrant and red but as i have a more white light right here and everything shining directly on it it kind of makes it look a little bit more ashy or more white or whatever you want to call it so there's definitely going to be different tones of red as you see uh, the shoe in different lighting looking at the other panels on the sneaker you have a white toe cap and a white mid panel here on both sides of the foot a black swoosh and a black leather collar all around there one hit that we always expect to see on an air jordan one is the air jordan wings logo it's a little bit harder to see with the lighting in this situation but again like i said the lighting definitely does play a different factor so hopefully you can kind of see that throughout the different types of lighting I'll show you in this video. You also have Michael Jordan's signature on the back of each shoe on the heel right here. 
Going to the tongue, you have your classic Chicago style Air Jordan 1 mesh tongue, all white with the red Nike Air branding. You have your Air Jordan Trophy Room Wings logo right here. The same logo that you see on the top of the box is the same thing embroidered here on the inside of the insole. All red with a white hit on the inside right here. Super dope, I always love additional touches like that. You also have Rumor Has It stitched right here on the inside of both sock liners. Another big thing that's super dope with this sneaker right here is you have your classic, you know, made in China, everything like that. But with this shoe right here, it has the date of the All-Star Game from 1985, February 10th. That's why this sneaker has a release date set for February 10th because of the game being on that same exact day. And on the left foot, on the back side of that tongue, this is where you get to see the number of your sneaker. Every sneaker is individually numbered out of 12,000 pairs. So as you can see right here, you have her numbering right there. There's nothing behind it, it's just all black. I think on both of them, yeah. So no additional stitching on that part as well. So these also come equipped with three pairs of laces. I know there's a lot of controversy behind this, but I'm telling you right now, when these release on Sneakers app, you're gonna get the three pairs of laces. You're gonna get the black, the white, and the red. But if you buy them from Trophy Room, that's where you'll be able to get the pair with the blue laces on them. So there definitely is a difference between the Sneakers app drop and then the Trophy Room drop. You guys will see what I'm talking about once your pairs come in the mail and you get them off of Sneakers app. I'm wishing all of the DNA fam luck. I hope all you guys have good chances and hopefully you can get extra people to enter for you and all that different stuff. I'm wishing all of the DNA fam good luck, good vibes. I hope you guys are all able to get this shoe. I know it's a very, very crazy controversial shoe and a lot of people really do want the sneaker. The problem is it's going for a whole lot of money right now and people just don't want to pay $2,000, $3,000 for this sneaker when they know they have an opportunity to buy it for 170 bucks. So now when it comes to is this shoe fire or trash, you guys already know what I think. The shoe is fire. It's not the best colorway ever, but at the end of the day, I love the creativity and I love the storytelling behind it and I like the concept. It's definitely a very, very unique sneaker and always a dope little piece to have in the collection and I think it will look pretty good on foot. So when I posted the poll on Instagram and asked you guys what you guys think, this is what the results said. 91% of the people chose fire and 9% of the people chose trash. I definitely understand a lot of people want this shoe and these results really make sense to me. Now let's see what people think about this shoe compared to the original color style with the Chicago Air Jordan 1. As expected, 75% chose the OG style with the classic look and everything. 25% chose the new one. I don't know if it's simply from hype or people just really like the design, but me, I'm going with this one all day. If it wasn't for this, we would never have this. So let's talk about numbers real quick. Everybody knows Knows the shoe is very limited and that's causing the price to go up obviously there's a lot of other crazy stuff going on as well this sneaker right now is currently worth around two thousand dollars maybe even close to three thousand dollars depending on the size of the sneaker and me personally i don't think this is a three thousand or two thousand dollar shoe i don't even honestly think this is a one thousand dollar shoe there's definitely a lot of dope colorways that are better than this sneaker that are worth six to eight hundred dollars so when it comes to preference and opinion no i don't think it's worth that much but the market says otherwise so I can't go against that. Now, what do I think about the long-term aspect of this sneaker? It's rare, it's limited, it's hyped. There's gonna be crazy demand behind this sneaker all throughout the year. And I think the prices, it might go down a little bit, but either way, it could potentially rise as well. We saw off-white ones and stuff like that hit for around $1,000, and now they're like a $4,000 shoe. So I definitely think if people are able to guarantee an authentic pair, they're for sure gonna be worth some good money down the road because everybody knows the craze that's going on right now. So overall, let me know what you guys think. I hope to get another video for you guys tomorrow. Good luck on the release. I'm excited as well. Stay tuned to Sneakers app. I know they're not available on there yet, but trust me, keep your eyes on Sneakers app. They they might just pop up. I appreciate you guys as always. We got some more fire videos coming soon, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I gots to go, I'm gone, peace.